Welcome to Teenies New and Old to Wits and Crits, a roundtable Q&A style podcast hosted by me, your dice goblin and resident vanilla guard boy loving ship gremlin Hayden Davio. I'm the player for Aviana Kolesh, Regan Alis, and Fianula Ioni. For those of you who are finding us for the first time, hi, hello, we are Nat19. We're a group of actors, improvisers, and performers who have found our, who have come together through our love of storytelling and mutual nerdery. I did not hack it up. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Today on the show, I have Anna Squeaky Garcia and... Spencer Downs. Welcome in. Thank you guys so much for being on the show today. You're very welcome. Thank you for having us. Thank That's you. I don't know I why I said that that way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> why don't you tell me what you have been in? <laughs> Spencer. Who's that directed at? Spencer, okay. Tell me, little, uh, tell me a little bit Spencer about Spencer Unit, you go today. first. <laughs> Spencer Downs. You go first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Morning. Uh, hi, I'm Spencer Dads. I, um, let's see, as far as Net 19 stuff goes, I do, uh, I'm I'm Vogan in Vestige of Fucus. I'm Krusk in the Princes of the Apocalypse game. And I am Arden in uh, the, the Devil's White Surrender game. And I, I do other stuff outside of it, but that that's a that's a list. Uh, we don't have to get into it right now. <laughs> Woo! Woo! What about Woo! you? And na 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 na. I am Anna Garcia. You can also call me Squeaky. I am uh, I, I this is where I would say I'm relatively new, but I'm not. I've been here for about three years. Um, <laughs> <laughs> relatively. <Yeah. laughs> uh, I've not been in much yet, but I was um Constance Colibri in the Crystal Tieflings one shot for Vestige of Fucus, and I also play Madile in Devil's Might Surrender. Yeah, yeah. you do. Yeah. Fuck yeah. So, for those of you who do not know how the show works, or like I said earlier, are joining us for the first time, usually what I do is I will roll a couple different die to determine uh, who I'm asking the question to, and then which question. Uh, I have to roll them digitally because I am away from my usual setup today. Uh, so, let me digital dice roller that I totally got up before I started recording. Crazy. Let's yeah, you did. I, can, I know. I'm so we good. We're so prepared. I'm so, so prepared. prepared. A D4. Mm -hmm. I'm a roll a D4. It's a two. I will roll a D4. I will roll a D4. It is for Anna. Oh. Cool. Oh. So, <laughs> and I'm gonna roll another one to determine which question. Cool. It's the one that I was. This one is for Unit Anna. This is for <laughs> Unit Anna. Please tell me. <laughs> this person says, I'm catching up on DMS and got to when Marile gets super flirty with Takumi. Was this just to make Nicolo jealous? If so, what was her thought process on this? And what was she trying to accomplish? I'm really sorry to whoever asked this question because the answer is disappointing. It's just Marile. <laughs> I, that was my thought. I was like, I feel like it's just Marile. That's just body leg. <laughs> she, no, she, <laughs> uh, she, she sees new face. She sees what she can get away with. <laughs> Once the boundary is put down, she's like, okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you got to build up that clientele after the apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> you got to rebuild that clientele. Everyone's open until they say no. Damn. <laughs> no, uh, no, she doesn't really, she doesn't really jive with that attitude of like, oh, I'm gonna, instead of, you know, have proper communication with people, I'm gonna instead manipulate people's emotions by being smarmy and sneaky. Like, no, that's gross. <laughs> she doesn't mm -hmm. like that. She would, she would never try to purposefully make Nicolo just jealous. Um... She, she, she's gone under, she's gotten under his skin before and done things to maybe get him um to detach from her because of her whole complex about not feeling good enough for him but to try to make him jealous so that he can like want her that goes completely against like her whole thing so no she did not do that to make nicolo jealous she does it because she's body like <laughs> because she wanted to exactly it's takumi's cutie yeah cutie takumi cutie takumi to cutie to cutie mm -hmm. Cutie. To cutie yeah. Roland. 
Yeah, it's like she oh, yeah. she did it with Briar because sure why not? She did it with Hadric because sure why not? She did it with uh, Zinnia because sure why not? She did it with Takumi because sure why not? You I know, know, two out of four ain't bad. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I do love that you keep calling Adric Hadric, and it's so funny to me. Yeah. Is it Adric or is it Hadric? It's, it's Adric in DMS. It's Hadric uh -huh. in um fucking their Curse of Strahd game. In Curse of ah. Strahd, that's what he's from. Yeah. So I just really, I just yeah. find it so funny. I was like. I'm not going to correct you, but I am going <laughs> to keep doing it. Keep doing what you're doing. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Hakin, thank you so much. This next question was for the both of you. <gasps> if you're willing. Because oh. we're about consent on this show. I'm pretty sure. sure. Good. Yeah. Good. Cool. <laughs> All right. It's going to be... I'm not going to start with that one. Um, no. Mm. Oh, cool! Sweet. You kind of brought it up because you you say you you slept with Briar, but did you? So, <laughs> how mm. are your characters? Because we haven't really had a moment to really stop and like go. Oh, a lot's go that's oh. Oh There's my! There's a lot of implications. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Okay, I was making sure that the recording wasn't exploding on me because I was gonna cry. Um. <laughs> I was like, not this again. Anyway, because <laughs> um, I'm on my laptop. But anyway, yep. mm -hmm. so how are your characters dealing with the reveal of who Briar really is? And feel free to like elaborate on it more than we really got a chance to during game. Spencer goes first. <laughs> okay. True. Uh, I don't know if Arden has a massive opinion about it. He didn't really interact with Briar that much. So the impact is kind of dulled. Because he wasn't that close <laughs> with him, really. <laughs> so, him being revealed as Machiavelli, it's like, oh, well, that surprised him. <laughs> That's I much prefer Briar, but you know, <laughs> I'm, this is this this isn't good. Um, but I can't imagine his feelings would be uh, are as strong as the other party members, though. On the on that subject. Yeah. Has he thought about at all, like, oh shit, this might, like, impact, like, other people in their party who were closer? Because I'm like, I know Fio has a lot of opinions, but it's not my episode, so uh, ask mm -hmm. me next time I'm on. I'll figure out what yep. the rotation is by the end of this episode. But, you know. There you go. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, about that. I mean, yeah. Uh, it's like, man, they the others were a lot closer to them. So, I mean, that sucks. Uh, but not too much past mm -hmm. that, I think. Yeah, that's fair. And especially, mm -hmm. like, if you're not close, it's like, well, yeah. fuck, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, we lost our upgrade tool. <laughs> <laughs> we lost our mechanic. Honestly, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, it's like, oof. <laughs> oof. That, oh, that's not good. <laughs> but yeah, he he doesn't really feel one way or another. Yeah, that's like super strongly. Fun. How about yeah. Marile? Um, so she's still kind of processing it. Like I was still processing it for a bit, trying to make sense of it. Because what in the fucking telenovela ass <laughs> events? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Where it was like, actually, it turns out that I am Machiavelli, who is Gino, who is Briar, who is my <laughs> and it's just like, huh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and she's just sitting here being like, so who did I fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like she's like, did I fuck the villain? Did I fuck Gino? <laughs> was Briar coming back? Was Briar bad the whole time? Or was he good? I thought I was a pretty good judge of character, but if I fucked the villain, then I think I can't say that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can say that anymore. And what is I someone needs to like I need I need someone to write me a diagram of like what's going on here because that's why she was like while 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 everybody was uh, working on Gino and Arden was working on Gino's hair and everything, I just imagined her sitting there watching and just like just staring in in amazement and like genuine um like what's the word 
I don't know words right now. Just kind of enthralled in what's going on. Not because, oh my God, his hair is looking so great. Arden's doing an amazing job. Just what <laughs> happened? <laughs> what happened? Who am I looking own. at? Lost in her own headspace, like because, processing everything else. Because like in her head, she was like, okay, after all this is done, we find a way to get Gino a body. I offer him sex. He probably says no. <laughs> and <laughs> like there was a roadmap. <laughs> Yeah. There was a plan. <laughs> and then all this happens and she's like, so where am I? Where am yeah. I on this map? Did I, do I still offer him sex? Because like, it's not like he was there when he was not Briar, but Briar was there. So like, again, there's that confusion of like, who did I fuck? Does he remember fucking? Does <laughs> like, how does the memories work? It doesn't seem like, it, it doesn't seem like he remembers what Briar was doing in the body prior to, mm -hmm. to things like that. So it's just like, do I still offer? <laughs> do I still offer so that he gets to an idea of what fuck is and then decides if he wa wishes to keep doing fuck? Or do I just let this new baby out into the world to discover things in his body? This doesn't seem like it, that part doesn't seem like a good idea. Oh. There have been like little jokes where it's just like, man, if if Marile and Nicolo adopt Manny, it's like, should we adopt Gino too? Now it's like, <laughs> should we adopt Gino too? Should we adopt this grown ass man? What do we do? Yeah. This is this, like, this is, this is like, this is so like, she she's kind of shook. <laughs> she's yeah, shook. That's valid. That's fair. That's fair. She's so shook, but in like the funny way. <laughs> Last game oh, was so God. funny in so many ways. <laughs> yeah. Why are my hands dogs? Yeah. <laughs> I still need to show Alejandro that because I was trying to explain to him. I was like, I can't. It's you have, you have to, to be, be there. there. You have to fucking <laughs> experience be there. it. Uh, that can be said of a lot of like fun D and D moments. It's like when you explain them to someone who's not at the table. It's like you had yep. to be it's there. It's like explaining a yep. dream to someone sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like explaining a dream. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. almost exactly it. Like there I was, there. and George Washington was there. He's not really doing anything, but he's there. But he was there. <laughs> I, I just feel like that was an important detail to give you. Yeah. Trust me, it'll be cool in a moment. Just let me get that to that part. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be really cool in a moment. It's build up. Explain. And also Mob from Mob Psycho yeah. 100 was there. Like... <laughs> and you were there. And you were there. Yeah. And you were there. Um, None of them are relevant, scarecrow. but they were there. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> I tried to explain the Briar situation to Alejandro, like, after it happened, like, the day of. Mm -hmm. And he's like, wait, 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 wait. So, like, the green one, who was, like, y'all's <laughs> mechanic, yeah. He was the villain, yeah. But he's also Gino, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's how, a lot. How the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a whole lot, man. It's a whole damn time. <laughs> That's also another thing, too, because it's like when we heard, like, Machiavelli, he had, like, the, eh, the old man voice. So then, and, and, and Marile has a strict no geriatrics rule. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> <laughs> you made me break my rule. <laughs> Who did she fuck? <laughs> it was Machiavelli. She fucked Machiavelli. Like, yeah, 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 you fucked Machiavelli. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... There was no Briar. I fucked ever. the BBG. <laughs> hey, you did. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Not everyone can say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I That's can say that. People try. That's crazy. You know, people like constantly joke, like, I'm gonna fuck Strahd from Curse of Strahd, and it never you comes to it. fruition. You did it! You, you did, did that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the amount of people, the amount of bards that could be in your shoes. <laughs> I wish they were you. <laughs> it's the Yu Gi Oh! It should have been me! Not, not her. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, oh. You are the bard meme. You are the bard <laughs> that fucks the dragon. Like... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Good. Yeah, it's a whole damn time. It's a whole damn time. So the next Dear question God. is for Spencer. Okay. Uh, 
I don't know why I turned the car, but I did, and I'm just gonna roll with it. Like I'm gonna roll this die. How very phone. few of you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, so speaking of bad guys being in the bodies of people we care about. Mm-hmm. What could this be about? Oh, I don't. I don't know, man. I think it's. I think it's about Tomb of Annihilation. Oh. I don't oh. Know. But okay. with the revelation that Velus has been... Oh, I guess it's about Vestas. Crazy. Uh, the revelation oh, okay. that Velus has been possessing Mary Mist this entire time. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How much of the time she spent with Vogan do you think was just Velus manipulating him? Do you think it was just the last epilogue game, or do you think Velus has been doing this from the start? Oh, from the start. Fucking, I think... This is definitely a better question for, for Logan because he knows <laughs> Velus more than I do. The thing is um, about that, basically the same question was asked to Logan. He's like, oh, uh -huh. so did you hear about this and just completely dodge the question? Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's on to you, buddy. Oh, man. I'm fucking... <laughs> I'm gonna... I, I don't know this for sure. Um, it's just my conspiratorial brain. Mm -hmm. Uh, but sometimes, like, yeah, Logan can play and think, like, I think, like, yeah, Logan's definitely playing. Oh. Spencer? Hello? And that's totally a normal thing. You cut that... out for, like, a chunk of time, because I think it might have been my I did? internet. It might have been me. Oh, I'm no! Uh, so, where I lost you was Logan can plan thing. Oh no. Okay. Well, uh Logan plans things from the from like the very beginning and mm -hmm. that's uh and uh, sometimes I, I kind of fall back and forth like okay, he might have done this from the very beginning. For sure and or th certain things might have just fallen into place mm -hmm. that are just like, ooh, oh what if this happened instead of the thing I planned and then it worked out really mm -hmm. well, which is totally fine. Most DMs do that. Uh, <laughs> but he could have. He could have just had it from the very get-go. And that's fucking great. And uh, I hate him for it. <laughs> how is... how? I want to kind of follow up on that. How is Vogan dealing with um, the fact that, like, he got that bracelet from Mary Mist? He got... <sighs> like, he had so many just, like, tiny moments with her like mm -hmm. running up to hug him before we left for the sky wall, um, buying her books, little things like mm -hmm. that. Do you think Velus was just trying to like really play out the part and like bide his time? Like uh, where's Vogan kind of sitting on it? Like whether it's like emotionally or like whatever logic he can put into the situation right now. Oh, uh, as far as Vogan is thinking, there's a lot going through his head. Um, like, but he's also trying to block a lot of those thoughts out, I think, because mm -hmm. there's not a lot that he can do until Mary Mist wakes up and asks her directly, like, how she is and how how she feels about everything that happened. Yeah. And what their relationship is going forward from there. Uh, And... I think he thinks it's like there's no real point dwelling on the what ifs and the shit. He's focusing on like what happened and mm. how to deal with that. And uh I think emotion suppressing is kind of emotional suppressions are are happening currently. Mm. Mr. Yeah. Meditate, feel my emotions is kind of. Uh -huh. Do you think he's like re not regressing at all, but do you think he might end up falling it upon like older habits, uh, in like the wake of this sort of traumatic event? Because like he used to be a barbarian and he used to kind of yep. do what I guess like what Avi's doing now, which you've mentioned on other episodes. He's like, yeah, he's concerned about that. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. I'm sure she's <laughs> fine. Um, yeah. She's totally fine. She's so well balanced in life. She's so well balanced. She's so fine. Right? Yeah. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but do you think he 
has the like potential of falling back on older, angrier habits in wake of the trauma. I think he's more in danger of that when confronting things that concern Velus in general. Mm -hmm. uh, with other with other things, I don't think he's in danger of that. He he's he's able to keep a cool head around, you know, regular things that aren't concerned with you know uh, with Velus stuff, I yeah. guess. But. Only time will tell when uh, when Velus shows back up, and the Mer like. It really also depends on the order of events that happen. Like, if Mary Mist wakes up before then, and they're able to talk stuff out, then maybe something might help. Uh, mm -hmm. He might go in with a cooler head. But if he meets her, but if he meets Velus while Mary Mist is still unconscious. He's not going to be very happy. Yeah. Yeah. A little angry, spicy red tomato boy. Mm-hmm. And that mm -hmm. might be a cool moment of growth for him. I don't know. It might. Who could say? Who could say? I can't. We won't know I don't. for multiple <laughs> years. <laughs> yep. I don't really plan things ahead in D&D &D, because there's usually no point in it. As so. you shouldn't, because yeah. if you plan things ahead in D&D, &D, I guess this is just an across-the-board thing. If you plan things mm -hmm. in D&D, &D, it the nature of it being like an improv game, basically, it's going to fight you. You are yep. going to be fighting to get that moment that you want. And you're just going to mm -hmm. be left unhappy. Or others at the table are going to be left unhappy. So, yeah. don't plan D&D. Just let it yeah. roll. Yep. You can have goals, for <laughs> yeah. sure. Just don't plan. <laughs> just don't plan. Don't, don't <laughs> Things plan. will always go wrong. <laughs> Don't plan old. whole moments or, like, don't plan out yeah. relationships and shit like that. You can acknowledge yeah. that things are going a certain way, but just let them roll. Mm -hmm. just, just let yep. them roll. Yep. But anyway. Shit's yeah. always going to happen. Yep. Things are always going to fucking hurt you. Uh, hurt your character. Things are going to change the way you're you're playing your character. Just moment to moment. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. That kind of makes me think, because I'm going to just bounce off of this for both of you. Mm. What's, like, a moment like that that's, like, happened for you guys where you're like, I... Because, um, obviously, the, like, you come in with, like, okay, here's, like, my idea of my character, and they're going to change the moment you open your mouth. We've talked about that mm -hmm. multiple times on the show. Mm -hmm. But um, have you ever had a moment where, like, you realize something, like, about your character? You're like... I had no fucking idea that they felt that way or like this was like something that they cared about or something that they wanted but just through playing them you realized like they had a goal uh, that they essentially for lack of better terms is a common thing in writing where it's like the character like told you their goal like as you're playing you're like oh shit I didn't realize you felt that way or you needed that or that's what you wanted like have you ever had like a moment like that with a character that you played hmm. if that made any sense whatsoever <laughs> I, I, I think I think I get what you're what you're asking I'm just trying to think um not in that 19 and while yeah. I'm trying to think outside of that I'm thinking I'm nothing that comes up no kind of yeah like feel free oh. to go outside of nat 19 i don't like it's um, actually, like with a character you played in a ttrpg in general so feel free to go off yeah um without going too into it because it does it does require some knowledge of uh cody's uh run games um i played essentially a character who uh, like Marile was very flirty, but also a complete and total gremlin <laughs> where she would say and do and act in ways that would always get her some sort of attention. And something that I always thought was weird at first was that whenever the party would have some sort of lodgings for the night, she would be like, I'm going to sneak into somebody's room. And I would roll a dice to see whose room she tries to sneak into. And it wasn't to do anything <laughs> nefarious. She just wanted to cuddle. <laughs> she just wanted to cuddle. And Dude. 
it was that thing of like, why does she want to do this? Is it because she thinks it's annoying? Because she thinks it'll be annoying? Because she thinks it'll get a rile out of people? Like, it's not like she just comes in and sneaks into bed and then you wake up with her and she's like, hee hee No, she, she <laughs> walks in and she's like, hey, you want to cuddle? And <laughs> while there is like a little part of her that probably did like, like the little reaction of like, oh, look, you, you've been given the opportunity to sleep with me, this hot bitch who is like totally out of your league but like <laughs> you get this chance that people would die for if they want to cuddle in that but like <laughs> but as i played her it was like i'm touch starved oh no i want someone to just spend the time with me and want to be with me for me mm -hmm. oh. she and it 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 ended up uh, with a a, a very sna a sassy snarky dragon wanting her. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. And it's really funny because it's like she was always like, if anybody does want me, it's probably just because I'm pretty or because of this or this, but not because of me. And this dumb dragon, who has no reason to have any sort of attraction to a human girl, will. Like she just made a, a a silly a silly joke where she was like, "Oh yeah, I'm totally this dragon's bride. I'm totally this dragon's bride. Of course, look at me. Of course, I'd be married to like a celestial dragon. It's a, a, duh." And then he's like, "Yeah, she's my wife. Damn. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's my bride. That's mine." And she's like, "Wait, what?" She's like, "What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking what?" <laughs> and but and there was that thing where like in her head she was like oh fuck i'm stuck with this dragon but then when she had several instances where she could get out of being tied to a dragon she was like no <laughs> actually i like this dragon this dragon looked at me and said yeah <laughs> and it could be just because he's a dragon and it, it, it's because i said i was his and i'm his and it's a, it's a possession thing but like He's seen me. He's he's he saw me at my worst, and he was still like, "No, that's mine." <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> I, she learned. She learned. A, I learned a lot about her from playing her in ways that I was like, "Oh, oh, you're like a you're just a touch starved gremlin that wants someone who loves her for her, despite her like." weirdness and her quirkiness and some of the moments that she's a huge colossal bitch and superficial and everything she wants someone that still looks at that and be like yeah but you're a good person and you do that because you put up walls in a way you want to find that person that isn't like fronting about it they want you for you despite all of that so yeah at first i thought she was just going to be a gremlin for gremlin's sake <laughs> yeah, those are always the ones that fucking get you Oh, I no, miss her so just... much. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, as, far as, as far as my characters go, yeah. I think the only one that I can think of currently is... Uh, I think a character I played in, in Fate. Um, forgot to mention him at the start. Uh, David. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. He fucking built him as a a character who will do anything for his sick sister like including going to this fucking death war uh <laughs> this holy war uh to to get a wish that will is the only fucking way to help her uh and went in with a a notion a, sort of a an idea of like yeah he'll he'll betray his friends at a moment's notice if it can get him what he wants uh but as the as the campaign went on he started to think you know think of them as his family and when if an uh, opportunity came up like i think an opportunity did come up to betray them and he didn't um and that was that was wild uh i was like oh he just i think at that moment i realized like i think he just is really family oriented mm -hmm. like he's family is extremely important to him like even found family so and he didn't i don't think he realized that until the moment happened so is that when he lost all his powers no no that was uh i think it was like i can't rem remember specifically because it's been so long but i Not think it was like when when Duncan showed up, and the fucking uh, the his 
it was not revealed that he worked with Duncan beforehand. Uh, and when that came out, they were, uh, his, uh, the party was not happy with him. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of valid, though. Yep. But, yeah. Hell yeah. Can't, can't remember this, though. No, unfortunately. I yep. like, I'm like, I just like thinking about that, because that's happened to me quite a few times. That happened to yeah. me recently with Regan. <laughs> and I was just, oh. like, taking notes, and I went, oh, <laughs> oh, because someone, I won't, again, I won't take too deep in it, because it's not my episode. But um, I think Ajisai was like, hey, are you okay? You've been, like, a little, like, you seemed, like, a little off since we got back to the cults. And I thought about it for, like, a second, like, I think it was during combat, and I went, oh, I know. Oh, okay, I get what's going on with you, because I didn't even know. I was like, why is she, like, what is going, oh, I see, I get it, mm. understood, I hear you, girl. <laughs> what was it? I'm not gonna fucking tell you. Uh, you gotta watch Princess. Was... I'm gonna let it come out in Princess. I am in Princess. Yeah. There you go. You'll You're find out eventually. We're literally <laughs> playing on Thursday. Knock on wood. Uh -huh. Everyone be there, please. I want to play D&D before I get on a train again. Hick. Hick. But yeah, thank you guys. For... I I like elaborating on questions. Okay, I'm gonna roll. Hop ya. Hop ya. It didn't. It... There it is. It's for both of you. Oh. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Whoop. Okay, it was the one I was looking at, so that works out nicely. I'm gonna rephrase the question a little bit. So it's mm -hmm. for Arden and Marile. Okay. You guys haven't interacted a whole lot since, like, early campaign, and that's definitely by the nature of this is a very combat heavy campaign, and there's been a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Um, The question originally was you don't interact much, why do you think that is? Um, but I would like to rephrase it as, you guys interact definitely less than you did at the top of the campaign. Why do you think that is? And like, what are kind of their like current opinions on each other and their like the nature of their relationship and things like that? We can, we can, I can start with na 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 na. I knew this question was going to be asked. Um. <laughs> not because, not because I, I I knew these things because I don't. It's because it's something I worry about a lot oh. <laughs> that I don't interact with other players enough. <laughs> it's on the technical side of things, DMS is a very combat heavy game. And I sometimes do have issues where after like combat heavy session, after combat heavy session, it's like, oh yeah, I have to play a character now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it can be hard to get back into that when for the last three or four hours, you weren't. Um, mm -hmm. Something I'm definitely trying to make sure to work on because it's, sometimes it's also squirrel brain. But um, <laughs> I thought about this and I thought about it, the potentiality of, I hope that's the word, that um, this question be asked. And when I asked Marile this in my head, she was like, you ever get married to a man that is too old and then he introduces you to his son that is around your age and you don't know anything about them? <laughs> <laughs> oh like, that. <laughs> like that. Like <laughs> that. Holy crap. <laughs> huh. I thought about this question. I was like, they're got someone's gonna ask one day. I'm gonna be in a wits and crits with somebody that our characters don't interact that much for whatever reason and i knew it was gonna be spencer i was like as soon as i saw that we're doing one together i was like someone's gonna fucking ask <laughs> <laughs> i need an answer <laughs> yeah fair <laughs> but um on the character sides of things it's i i guess not really there being a right time like mm -hmm. arden seems like he's pretty much got most of his issues together that he most of <laughs> he were, I heard that <laughs> that like there's there's that thing of like with her experiences and his own it's like what can she say about the situation they're both half demons but their lived experiences are so different mm -hmm. and there's this thing where early on it was 
trying to kind of like keep a line between her and Arden because she didn't want to worry Theo. <laughs> <laughs> so it was it was kind of being a girl's girl, being like, no, I, I I've told myself that if I must interact with Arden, it is to be a supportive, a friend thing. I need to actively make sure I don't flirt with him <laughs> <laughs> because it's just gonna happen. So I gotta make sure. <laughs> And then again, it's like just not finding the right time where it's like, what can I say that anybody that everybody else hasn't already said that doesn't kind of feel redundant to the mm -hmm. situation? Mm -hmm. Totally. Um, and it's you usually everyone else has something really good and impactful to say that she's like, I agree. <laughs> I agree. What more? I can't add to this. And I feel bad as a player because it's like <laughs> I feel like she would say something. But at the same time, it's like, again, it's like, why, why be repetitive? We don't have a lot of time. The next battle is going to be coming, happening any second now. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, can I can I cut in real quick with something? Oh, of course. As well? uh, it's also a thing of like, after we're done with the fight, we're usually dealing with a heavy story thing, like mm -hmm. that doesn't involve us really. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that it makes it even more difficult to find time to interact with the the people that aren't like in your like your inner circle mm -hmm. in the party you know mm -hmm. yeah that's it makes it even more difficult like arden hang like arden mostly talks to like fio and probably nicolo mm -hmm. like fio for obvious reasons and what? <laughs> <laughs> and nicolo for like i guess because he's another man well, like the pseudo like party leader, I guess. Yeah. Uh, where, like Nicolo and and I think Arden are, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think like they are kind of the pseudo leaders in yeah. certain aspects of the group. Yeah. They um, usually have the reins in some way, or they pass the reins between one another. Yeah. So, that's kind of where their interactions, uh, go towards. They go to they go to each other for a lot of their opinions, like what to do mm -hmm. next. Um, and then Manny, because he's a fucking gremlin. <laughs> and it's hilarious <laughs> interacting with them. Mm -hmm. I but... have such a love for Manny and Arden. I love <laughs> it's so fucking good. Uh, but yeah, the, it doesn't really, like, we don't have a yeah. lot of room for the other characters. I'd love to interact more with, uh, with Marile and Gino, but... Mm -hmm. There's not very many opportunities to do so because, well, Modile's usually dealing with Nicolo. <laughs> yeah, they. <laughs> and that's the thing too. It's like when, you, when, like something that at least this is the first time I've experienced a game like this. The last time where it was similar was a long time ago, and it was a fake campaign, so of course. Mm -hmm. But this, this is a, this is the first campaign in a long time where we kind of start with a buddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're more inclined to go to our buddy. <laughs> yeah. And They're talk sure, to our buddy yeah. and progress with our buddy. Yeah. It's it's difficult uh mm -hmm. because like there there are definitely like pros and cons to starting that way. Mm -hmm. Pros because you you have somebody to talk to. Yeah. Like in the in the group. Con being that they're usually the only person you talk to yeah, for a while. And, <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing like like you mentioned with a game where the times that we have to role play and do things and progress our characters, it's also a big story moment where that's the pressing issue to focus on. Mm -hmm. um, someone can correct me if I'm wrong because my memory is a little shot, but like, I can't remember the last time we just all sat down and were like, yo, like, how's the weather with one another? Yeah. It's what are we going to do next with this all this information we just learned or this thing just happened or we just fought this now mm -hmm. what and I think, the, I think the last time that happened was when we were in the in takumi's like sort of their apartment uh, their apartment like or whatever little, and we it just was like the hangar the hangar yeah, or whatever the, and because mm -hmm. we had no choice but to wait around for them to fix the yeah the plane. <clears throat> so and that was that thing of like until we get the plane, like what do we do? We have to get the plane yeah. first, or we're stuck. Yeah. So. so yeah. That was a, that was a, whole that was a thing. while ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> feels like it at least. It's, we've definitely yeah. had like other moments. Like, I don't remember where we were. We we're like in a pool. Or were we in like? 
a drama? That was Angel's Light. That, that was, was like no, mm. no, that was like after. No. Uh, that was, was when Briar cool? Machiavelli Briar was like <laughs> hanging out in like the water. We're like, you good? Not dead? It's like no, oh. I'm just hanging out out here. Where the fuck were we? Were we in a drama lack? Were we in a helicopter? <laughs> yeah, we were, in a helicopter. I feel like no, we, were, we were in a plane. I feel like we were in some aircraft or, you I know. Think, I think uh, we were in Takumi's aircraft because that's the only time I can remember Briar being in, like, the ocean and being like, no, don't worry about me. If I move, I'm going to die um, yeah. because there's something under here going to kill me. But, at, like, because the only time I remember... The only time I remember us being around a pool, and in my head I'm thinking like a swimming pool or like a tub, it was at Angel's Light, and that was a long time ago. That was so long ago. That was so yeah. long ago, but that was also another time where we had these like mo kind of like some character moments because it was the first like real downtime. We found a place where we can shelter for a bit mm -hmm. and just regroup, reassess what is going on, what are we doing, and how are we going to come out of this alive. Mm hmm and also, who are you all? <laughs> who are you yeah. guys? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Fair. so long ago. <laughs> uh, it was. We've definitely had uh, moments, but nothing quite like that. And I yeah. think what these characters have so fucking earned is, like, mm -hmm. some downtime just to, like, hang out and chat. And I'm like, I guess, like, uh, on, like, to jump off of that question, it's like, is there, have there been moments where you guys are like, I, like... I want to talk to Marile about this or like what's like find out like their your other uh, fellow players opinion on something mm -hmm. or like like in character. If there have been like moments where you're like, man, I really wish I would have talked to like Marile or I would have talked to Arden about that. Mm -hmm. and so you can tell me now. I'm just saying I'm just throwing questions at you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> as far as Arden goes, I don't think so. Like they're they're dealing with so such different things even though they're in the the same party like <laughs> so arden doesn't have a ton of not interest like the interest isn't the word like he he has interest in talking to modile but not about anything like the that we're currently dealing with mm -hmm. i guess mm -hmm. <clears throat> like that's uh <laughs> yeah i don't know it's uh that's a difficult. That's a difficult one. Like, he definitely likes body light. Like, she's she's great, but he just doesn't have the the current need to talk to her about anything. Yeah, there's specific. nothing pressing enough. Yeah. With with body light, um, there were some moments where she was curious, and this was kind of her being like a little bit of a busybody of mm. what was up with him and Zinnia. Mm. Mm she was kind of curious where it was like okay so like who is she is she your friend is she your girlfriend <laughs> kind of like kind of like nosy mom behavior oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> where it's just like who is she where do you know her from is she nice she seems nice okay so what about <laughs> theo <laughs> <laughs> okay so what about theo <laughs> and then it was like oh you're gonna let me fuck her okay well that answers that question never yeah. mind <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then you let it and then you let and then he just kind of let Marty lay fuck her <laughs> it mm -hmm. was like okay well that tells me everything i need to know without exchanging yep. any words <laughs> yep <laughs> arden never thought of zinnia that way ever yep <laughs> She was like, "Don't worry, Phil. He's you're safe. He you he's safe." <laughs> yep. She's really pretty. Don't, don't 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 worry. She's not going to be thinking about him for a while. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, Silly. <funny. laughs> that shit was great. It was so good. <laughs> I still did. I still, I'm still kind of like with Zinnia. I was just like, how did that work? <laughs> how did that work? <laughs> Got that charisma. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, if I was presented with Marile, I'd be like, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Let's go. Let's go. Let, yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. Listen, yeah, y'all think... have heard me struggle during game. It's like my character straight. Mm -hmm. Remember that. <laughs> but I still remember. I think it was like where Logan had had like asked um, 
he was he was trying to like ask uh, Eric something, but he was like, Gino, did you want to something like so you see Modile or something? And it was like Eric, and he was like, well, he was like, if I saw Modile, then I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was, and then Logan was like, oh god, what did he say? He was like, hi. He, he was like, hi, nice to. So, so, he was like, hi, I'm something nice to Logan, you, or something like that. I can't remember, but it was so funny at the time. Mm-hmm. Where he, where Logan did that thing where he mixed up the words yep. and his name. And mm-hmm. it was just like, he was like, yeah, I think everybody here would probably not be able to speak anymore if Monty Lay was in front of them. Yeah, no, that's, yeah. Uh, that's a losing battle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine to lose that battle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, good shit. Good shit. <laughs> Marile, good shit. Mm-hmm. I love her. I, I've loved watching her uh, her grow and change from like the beginning mm. to like really, f- she's really flourished, in my opinion. I'm gonna miss her so much. <laughs> Dude, Aww. I've been trying not to think about it, but I was like, we just hit level 19, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're two, two missions away from, oh. from the end. Tell me that. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. Uh, we've got those. I feel like we have the three, like a mission per, like the three sections of the Machiavelli thing that happened. Uh, yeah. Like per segment of his city ship or whatever yeah. it was. I forget. <laughs> oh, be a drama like you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I suppose. This question's for you, Spencer. Okay. Question. Okay, so we've already asked that one. Oh, I guess <laughs> we're asking this one. Okay. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Now that the campaign is over, how does Vogan think he's done as guild leader so far? What does he feel <laughs> is his biggest mistake as leader? Biggest mistake? Oh my god. Um... Hmm. Like, there's two questions there. It's like, how does he think he's done? What's his biggest yeah. fuck up? <laughs> What's his biggest fuck up, though? Like, <laughs> tell me about his failures. Oh my god. As leader, that's such a tough one because mm-hmm. he still is struggling with that. Uh, the fact that, like, all right, I guess I'm the leader. Um, <laughs> putting <laughs> Quintus thrust upon the, the, the title of leader of the highest standard upon him. Uh, it's like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> sure. And I think he's hasn't really thought of himself as a leader. Like, even when he's been doing, like, leadership stuff, he's still like, yeah, I'm just part of the group. Like, Quintus is still the leader. Like, <laughs> I'm just in name, I guess. Because... Quintus hasn't really changed in the the way he carries himself uh, as like he still very much carries himself as the leader of the highest standard mm-hmm. but Vogan you know in name he is but in in a lot of ways he does he is very much the leader of the highest standard oh yeah honestly yeah. I think he's healthier for the group as the leader oh yeah in a lot of ways. for sure but he's still it's it's a struggle of like viewing himself as the leader because uh, in his mind i think he'll he'll never be perfect like good enough for that leader position it's like i need to be like i need to be on my game like at all times being the leader here and uh, as far as his biggest fuck up goes i don't know I can't remember any times that he's really, like, fucked up, in quotes, as the leader of the highest standard. At least I can't think of any particular incidents that I don't think he's, like, either really he or I would view as a fuck up. At all, honestly. If anything, I think yeah. he's just been nothing but healthy for the group. Yeah. And while, like, Avi has her opinions on, she's like, I don't really think we need, like, a leader. I think it should be, like, a group thing or whatever. Yeah. I'll keep my shit to that's kind of what Vogan is kind of thinking too. But it's just like, I mean, yeah. I don't think we really need a leader, honestly. That's yeah. just my opinion. I think we're a group, but uh-huh. um, I think Vogan has been so good for the group because, um, especially like with reminding them to like meditate and take mm-hmm. a moment 
and remember to breathe and like he's been so incredibly healthy for them like his journey at least is what i've seen and you can Mm -hmm. tell me if i'm reading your character wrong here (laughs) um but it's been very much like his journey of self-improvement and i guess enlightenment i guess or like finding Mm -hmm. more peace within himself um has really been positive it's had a positive ripple effect oh yeah Vogan, I love Vogan because he's the, like, he's the embodiment of what we were talking about earlier. Like, mm-hmm. I, he, there was no plan for, for him. Like, the goal was to, like, you know, better himself and on whatever road that, you know, that took form, I guess. And that was, Vogan has been such a fun, fun character for that, that goal. Uh... And yeah, that his whole journey, like his whole like journey, has been self improvement, and I think he's shown a lot of growth there. And yeah, and he would never say this, but I think I think you're right in that he is super good for the group. Uh, <laughs> the same in kind of the same way that like Taguchi was in mm-hmm. uh, in Honokuni, like Taguchi was that like what Vogan was for the group like times 10 like he was there he was the therapist dad that they really really God, needed he, he, <laughs> he was so needed in Honokuni bro. yeah 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 whereas Vogan kind of occupies that same space mm-hmm. but he's also learning with them yeah he's at a different place in his life yeah Taguchi's got that experience like he's got that like he's lived his whole he's lived a full life and then some of of experience he's he's found his he's found his person he found his like he has a family and everything like he's got his own goal of trying to help the person that he admires so much and he i feel like he would like if he were part of the highest standard he would have kind of he would have occupy that leader position pretty well yeah but honestly i mm-hmm. i think quintus could learn a lot from tagachi yeah <laughs> if yeah, only he were very, there right i think that would be <laughs> such a like a, such a healthy thing for quintus mm-hmm. to be like so here's what like you don't have to be like yeah quinn is always going to be big brash and bombastic that's who he is he's mm-hmm. that's how he be but like i think um having someone who's like more of like a calm leader who can like just lead through example i think would be so beneficial for quinn for sure for sure but that's my opinion Mm -hmm. yeah i love taggy g and fogan they're so good they're so fun i love them both so much Mm -hmm. very much i mean I, I could go off about Tag and Avi forever, and I won't. Mm-hmm. But I was like, there's a reason <laughs> Avi be how she is, like, in the epilogue. Like, where she's at, mm-hmm. like, with how she processes things now. And, like, being more open about, like, what she wants. And saying, like, more openly how she feels about people. That's because of Tag. Yeah. So. Oh, he'd be so proud of her. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. There was definitely a part of her that was hoping, like... It was like, he was on her mind a little bit when she was singing in the bar. It's like, yeah, this song's about my boy, but, you know, a part of this is like a little thank you to Tag, because she wouldn't mm-hmm. be doing it without him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. that's so, oh, it's so sweet. Mm-hmm. Oh. I miss that boy. Mm-hmm. But heck yeah. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to wind it back, wind it I back. can't, I can't <laughs> think of any fuck ups, I guess, Vogan has had, unless you can think of any. Uh, no. Yeah. And I really haven't been there for, like, a lot of early... I wasn't there for, like, mm-hmm. early, early Vogan, so... But that's when he wasn't the leader. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, he didn't become leader until Avi, like, yeah, joined, that was until, I like, think. Yeah, he became the leader after our split games. Yeah, yeah. So, that was... That was <laughs> hasn't had opportunities to fuck up, I guess. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. So we're still in the we're still in the first half of the ca- of the game. Yep. Just insane. This time uh, to fuck it up, boy. Let's go. 
<laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, good shit. Oh yeah. Next question. Next question is for Anna. Na, 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 na. Wow. Wow. I apologize. We went off there for a, a momo. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Now it's your turn to go off for go a moment. Go off, queen. <laughs> I hope this mm -hmm. one is like a decent prompt, but we'll see. Heckin, if Marile. Phone, can you? Bruh, <laughs> shut up. That's a weird Sorry. question. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> if, you phone, if you could phone Marile, what would you say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if Marile had to choose a different path after all is said and done with Machiavelli, like choose a different path from uh, sex work, what might she be imp interested in pursuing? Barbarian. <laughs> she gets into wrestling. <laughs> uh, I think some. I think a question similar to this was asked last time. I don't remember. Um, and I, I do remember. Um, now that, um, the the answer mainly being, but I can expand on it now since, there, you know, there, there's always other possibilities. Um, now that she can essentially be with Niccolo and there's no hiding, there's no order of the sword coming after them or anything like that. They can just live their life. Um, there is the interest that she has of going back into just general entertainment um, before becoming like solely a sex worker. Like um, she grew up in sex work and then kind of almost escalated herself to courtesan mm -hmm. <laughs> and um you know did entertainment a lot of just a, a general socialite um but still somewhat established as like a not like a, a movie star or a famous singer or anything but she was definitely someone where it was like you knew her name um but then she just kind of dropped off the face of the earth and a big bulky italian man crashed into her apartment and she just suddenly was gone. And um, now there's kind of like wanting to go back to that. Mm. Um, seeing if she can restart that. Where it's like, where did Muddy Lay go? Um, uh, now it's, you know, there's there's that little bit of like, can I go back to that? I've been gone for, I can't remember how long her and Nicola have been uh, uh, um, on the run. I know at the very least a year. Um so depending on how long it's actually been, it's not something that she's um, not against doing. Other paths in general, um, nothing super duper comes to mind um, because she's also not sure with how her upbringing was if she could manage to do something like maybe just have a more domesticated life of like not so much a housewife but like for example like a teacher or like some sort of like coach or something like that she's not sure she would fit something like that mm -hmm. um it's it's very very hard to say because like she wasn't done with her life <laughs> um before Nicolo, so it's kind of like that was put on an indefinite pause so now it's like she wants to go back to that, see if that's still for her before maybe weighing her options of what more she might want to do. Um, so that's, I feel like that's an unsatisfying answer. I don't think but, it is um, at all. Yeah, because she hasn't, she hasn't weighed any other options. It's, she's always kind of lived based on what she knows. And she just knew that she was good with people. But, um, in terms of elevating herself and helping herself survive um it just also came with you know status and then money and then things and then fancy apartment and then an italian man crashing into it so like it 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 it, it just kind of all sort of happened it's not like she planned any of that it you know because then she learns that she's a succubus and then it's like oh that explains everything um so she hasn't uh weighed her options in that aspect and then there's a little part of her that it's like now that she's aware that she's a succubus and she can essentially kind of turn that off there's also the 
the little bit of anxiety of, but what if I actually can't? And no matter what I do, any any success or any like elevation I get from that is because I'm a succubus. Yeah. <laughs> so like, it's, have I it's also earned that, or is it just what yeah. I Exactly. So there's also that thing of like, how, how do I accomplish how, how I didn't know I accomplished the things I, I did because of what I am. Can I even do anything else without that really being a factor? Have I earned anything? Um, so I, 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 I think what I had said last time is that she also she needs to really uh, not be in the middle of an apocalypse <laughs> to think about what she wants to do with herself afterwards. Yeah. Cause right now she's too focused on, I need to first survive this. That's how she's always been. She's never truly thought about the future because I need to make sure I can live through today. Um, and <laughs> like, even when she was in that like lavish lifestyle, it was like, all it takes is, something to go wrong her charm's not working on someone and it's over <laughs> so she she didn't have really the time or the energy to think about you know what am i going to do a year from now two years from now 10 years from now it's uh, let me make it to tomorrow first and maybe we'll think about it and maybe never came so <laughs> and now it's like now that maybe is completely up in the air with you know a whole ass apocalypse <laughs> so uh talk to her when when you know when this is done <laughs> like, oh. get back to me get back well, we can talk later can i take a rain check on that question yeah. <laughs> i would like a rain check <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Habwa. Excuse me. Habwa. I said Habwa. There we go. Goodness. Okay, okay, okay. For both of you. Habwa. Okay. Me, me, me. <laughs> so, this question was phrased in a strange way. So, I need to read this over real quick. I know what the TLDR is, okay. but I was like, why did. It, this doesn't need a TLDR. Um. So what did, I feel so selfish asking this question, say. but it was asked, what did the fox say? Bow, 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 <laughs> bow, 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 bow. What were your, uh, what were your characters' reactions to Fio when they first met her and how have they changed uh, since the beginning of the campaign? I think I've talked about this before. Mm -hmm. At least you and I have. I yeah, we've definitely talked about it. I cannot remember for the life mm -hmm. of me if we've talked about Onwards and Creds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fuck, what did I say? What did I say to you? I cannot remember what I said to you, Hayden. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah. So tell uh, me other words. <laughs> tell me other words. Oh, I think Arden really liked Ufio at first, like, when they when they met. It was, it was like a breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. Very, very different energy from where he came from. And very needed, I think. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, now that I think, I think they hit it off, like immediately. Oh yeah. So. Mm -hmm. and like, oh, he's not trying to kill me. Fucking sweet, and he's really awesome. nice. Awesome. I like the way he oh, talks. Sweet. It's cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it was so. It was, yeah. They. He he really really liked her at first. And it only, I think, it only grew. It it grew so quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> At the start of the campaign, I think he was already like, I think he already romantically liked her. Aww. So he was already yeah. like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Stood no chance. <laughs> <laughs> Stood no chance. How can you say no to all this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> I want to kind of believe that every time Arden like 
thought about how like tried to think about how we thought about Theo, he decided to instead be like, let me get her food and see how she reacts and then maybe I'll answer <laughs> myself later. <laughs> I'm just gonna distract myself real quick. Like, do I like Theo? What? Do you want fries? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I do want fries in like Arden. I mean, I want fries. I do like fries and want Arden. What? What? <laughs> yeah. what? So I don't know. Did you know that your fingers could be dogs, man? <laughs> I didn't almost drop I love you. Don't worry about it. That's so weird. <laughs> Crazy. It's like, Theo, what are we? What? Do you want what? cheese? <laughs> <Yeah>. I want <laughs> cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Just he has these questions and then he accidentally says them out loud and then he's like, food! Food! Like, oh, food! Yes. Next! Games? Uh, oh no. <laughs> so stupid. He doesn't have the emotional maturity to deal with this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Growing up in a cult will do that to you, probably. Probably. <laughs> Might, mm. just, just a little bit. Might stunt you just, just a little, a little bit. bit. A demon hunting cult. It's, yeah. it's whatever. It's barely anything. It's, <laughs> they teach you emotional maturity and yeah, romantic when feelings. Is your papa. Yeah. 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 It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. I can't. Yeah. What about Mommy Lay? What was her kind of opinion upon meeting Fanula to know? Muddy Lay has always um been under the idea of you shouldn't judge anybody by first appearances mm -hmm. um especially with her sort of environment and upbringing uh someone who looks sweet and charming can be an absolute bitch and then the opposite can happen um working at angel's light has also definitely further pounded that lesson into her so when she saw Theo. It was like, okay, demon, she's cute. She's got a little bit of a fieriness in her. What more is in there? And then as she sees, like, Theo act around the party, uh, how she doesn't know a lot about the world and has a very kind of, like, uh, childish wonder to her, she was like, oh, hun. <laughs> hun, you need to be protected. <laughs> We need to protect you from the horrors of the world that you don't oh. know yet. <laughs> like, yeah. it was that thing of, like, there was something about Fio, uh, Fio that was more mature than Manny, but not by much. No, not by <laughs> not much. Not by much, where it was like, you know, maybe Arden's taught her a couple things. Maybe whoever brought these two together have taught Theo some things. She's not a complete dumb baby. So <laughs> she, she knows a thing or two, and she's not stupid. She's just new to everything. Um... Mm where it's kind of like okay well what can i do to kind of teach her she's going to learn a lot of things just like manny is going to learn a lot of things but while i can't talk about certain things with manny i can kind of talk about them with theo because we're both whammon and whammon will go through these circumstances and situations and in a way theo had kind of taught her things about herself too where um like again like their conversations about love mm -hmm. and like togetherness and bonds and stuff it's like she probably would have never admitted to anybody that she loves nicolo if it wasn't for Theo being like what's up with you and this person why are you like this um she would have probably taken all of those feelings with her to the grave and kept being the way she was around nicolo if it wasn't for Theo bringing that up and making her think, you know, maybe maybe she's right. Um, maybe I should give that a try. Um, and then as they progressed, she kind of definitely started to see Theo, um, where like many she sees as like a kid, a baby. Mm -hmm. um, she started to see Theo kind of like a, like a younger sibling. Um, yeah. Someone that you can lead and encourage and... Um, and in the surprising turn, they also end up teaching you and helping you grow. So it's 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 a very like mutual, a very a very mutual learning and growth 
um, that I think is very, very nice. So she definitely, definitely loves Fio in that aspect. And like, that's like her little sister. <laughs> that's like her, that's like her little sister to her. So it's just like, yeah, no, this one, this one, I've, I, I've taught her a thing or two, but she has taught me so much. <laughs> like she still needs to be protected Arden if you don't take care of her I'm going to kill you <laughs> it's like I will actually end you <laughs> oh no <laughs> no Theo, Theo loves Marile so fucking much and it's very much a um, we'll have to wrap up here I think we have time for maybe one more question just cause mm -hmm. Ali has a uh, sponsored stream but um oh, makes sense no, Theo could see through Marile and like the whole Niccolo situation so quickly because she might not be like high IQ smart. Mm -hmm. She is emotionally very tapped in. Mm -hmm. um, she just goes by vibes. She goes by feelings and like she picks up on those things and she could tell that it's like how they act around each other is how... I feel around Arden. What's going on there? I'm not even fully <laughs> sure what that means. Cause I've been in the human world for like a fart, like for a quick second. <laughs> <laughs> but like, there's something more going on there. And Marile, she could tell that Marile wasn't being her whole self. Mm -hmm. Even without like knowing the words to say that she could just kind of feel it. Um, no, feel, feel that so fucking much it's like I can't, I can't do anything for this woman i swear to fucking god <laughs> like, hell yeah it been like hey this person hurt my day tell me show me who, I need to die who do i've got to stab who do i need to stab i'll do it i can we'll do it like that i'll, I'll split it. myself like an atom and we'll do it <laughs> <laughs> Entire gang fucking coming up on like the goddamn that one fucking one piece walk up uh scene yeah. like fucking handing the hat off to Nami like going off to kick some dude's ass. <laughs> That's, That's all the of the party. Oh, <laughs> if yeah. they ever hurt anyone, like if they hurt Marile or Fio in the party, mm -hmm. he's like, oh, oh, oh no. Oh, Oof. so good. Oh, so good. Thank you so much for your very, your wonderful answers. Yeah. My brain went a little Theo there. I was like, hey, what are words? <laughs> oh, okay, we got time for one more question. Sorry. Alejandro's like trying to like talk to me and he's like mouthing words at me. I'm like, just fucking text me, bro. I can't. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say to me. I can't pay attention to you. I'm trying to pay attention to the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Preach you, babe. I know you don't listen to my show, but preach you. Oh. Uh, okay. It's for it's my answer. Oh, okay. It's for it's my answer. Okay, 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 okay. Blah. We've answered that one. Blah. We've answered that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is interesting. Um, I've been watching Swee and D Call of the Deep, which has its oh. own crust. I've noticed some interesting differences between the two crusks. When deep crusk, which I kind of, I'm like, deep crusk. Yeah. <laughs> deep crusk. Deep crusk, I love that. <laughs> when deep crusk learned his powers came from a dark source, he was immediately down with them. He was angry when he found <laughs> out someone was keeping an awful deed, uh, deed they did from their party. Uh, Prince's crusk still hasn't told anyone he's responsible for a woman losing her soul and was all too happy to use the shady powers he received till recent events. Why do you think Princess Krusk is so different from his Swee and D counterpart? Because Swee and D Krusk, uh, he's got that, he's got the power to back up his own feelings <laughs> about, like he's got the, <laughs> Sorry. he's got that, <laughs> that disgusting level of power. Like he made the D, he made, he's that fucking bard. It's like, I made a deal with the dev devil uh, to, you know, become great at music mm -hmm. or whatever. That, that was, that's Deep Krusk. Um, and he's got the power to act on his, uh, on his whims. Uh, Krusk doesn't. Uh, Princess Krusk does not. Not yet, at least. Um, <laughs> and, uh, He's he's scared of the shame. Uh, he's scared of the the absolute backlash that he'll face if uh, if he tells anybody in the group about uh, about him 
royally screwing over that girl. Uh, oh, poor Melody. Yeah. Yeah. There wasn't a lot we could have done about that. Yeah. But uh, Kruska, Kruska took it in his own hands. Like, oh, well, my boy's getting a... Uh, my boy's boy's about to get some uh, some some bad stuff happen to him. But yeah, so I'm uh, I'm gonna help him out. Um, also, the difference between them is Princess Krusk has a support system. <laughs> he's got the he's got that family. He's got that found family there. Whereas Deep Krusk doesn't. He's got he's got every everything is worked out for him as far as he's concerned. Um, <laughs> they haven't, but they, he sure does think so. Uh, but I guess those, that's the main difference between them. Mm. The, the people, the people around him are the biggest difference, I think. And that's pretty cool, I think. Do you think, um, where's Crest kind of sitting? Like, I know, like, we're going to be playing this week, so obviously, like, we can dig into it more probably there. But where's Krusk kind of sitting in, like, the recent realizations of, like, bro, most of your teachers, like, we, we're very goofy during Princes, but, like, there's a lot mm -hmm. of big shit going on for Krusk, all things considered. How's he feeling on, like, bro, most of your teachers, if not all of them, were part of these cults. How is he kind of processing, like, you might have been groomed to like oh he's so he's so scared mm -hmm. like <laughs> he is terrified for what is waiting for him on the other side of this of the events here like oh my god like the realization of like oh my entire like bard career has been compromised because of these people and um and that's not great. That's not great at all. What the fuck? <laughs> he's he's kind of in panic mode. He's in panic <laughs> mode, and he's not thinking. So, and that's fun to play. <laughs> no thoughts, just just action. Just ah. Uh... Just uh... <laughs> Like, he's not thinking of the repercussions of like you know controlling that fire elemental that he uh mm -hmm. that he managed to do like it's like oh my fucking you know my my group's in danger uh oh i can i'll just control it not thinking about any sort of consequences that's kind of the <laughs> that's kind of krusk's whole brand no consequences are for later krusk <laughs> future krusk can deal with those <laughs> yeah. i don't want mm -hmm. a consequence consequence mm -hmm. consequence He's such a he's such a fucking dummy, man. I love uh, him so much, but he's mm -hmm. our dummy, right? Uh, he's such a fucking dumb. He's a goddamn numbskull. Oh, uh, I love him so much. Wisdom, negative wisdom for days. I love it. Is his wisdom really negative? I know it's low. It is. Yeah, it's a What's... I think it's like an eight or a nine. Damn. Uh, but it's got that negative modifier. So oh. I've been leaning, really leaning into that. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, no, he's going to make the worst decisions. <laughs> what a boy. Oh, he's what great. <laughs> Everything's so fine. Everything is fine as far as he's concerned. Listen, as long as his friends are safe, it's fine. <laughs> Bensley. Yep. <laughs> no, everything's gonna come crashing down around him. Yep. Uh, cause he he's a dumbass who doesn't think he's a dumbass. He's <laughs> he's a. <laughs> oh, he's a boy. Like, he's a boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's Bensley. Oh, he's crossing a Bensley. Bensley or whatever the fuck. I shook my headphones. Bensley. Like, okay, so it's fine. I'm mm -hmm. so pretty. <laughs> Yep. Krusk is so pretty. He, oh my god. He's so pretty. I mean, he's a glamour mm -hmm. bard, right? You know. Yep, he's a glamour bard. So, he's the definition of you're so pretty. You're so pretty, <laughs> Krusk. Yep. You're so... so pretty. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll choose to take that at face value. Like, <laughs> ha yes. 
Yes, I, I am. am. You're right. Mm -hmm. I'm beautiful. Oh, it's going to be so bad. Oh, Everything's so going to come crashing down upon him. It's going to be beautiful. Like a drama And then he's like. going to die. <laughs> like a drama like, yeah. Crashing down. <laughs> mm -hmm. We. I um, want to ask you both one more question because I have time. Do it. So this was on Anna's list, but I want to kind of give it to both y'all in case you want to weigh in, Spencer. But okay. primarily for you and na 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 na. Got a question for you. Uh, now that you have been playing 5e for a while, what are some other classes or character types you would be interested in playing? Pedal Knight. Oh. Pedal Knight? Nice. Pedal Knight. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, Pedal Knight, Pedal Knight, uh, Pedal Knight, and Ranger. Sweet. There... <laughs> That's I hope, it's, I hope it's not base ranger. No. I hope it's Logan's ranger. Base ranger. Base ranger. Base rangers are bad. Base rangers are oh, bad. Oh, they are. Yeah. No, they are. But you gotta, you know. Yep. Gotta pay your dues. Yeah. I, I kind of played a ranger before, but I kind of want to want another shot at playing this type of ranger because mm -hmm. I thought the best thing ever that I could do, and I can't remember what blessing it was, but it was like. I think it was like Fey touched Ranger, and it was one of the silly traits is like you can smell oh, like an herb. At, yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah, and it was like one of the one of the funny traits is like you can make it so that you smell like a certain herb or something at any time. And I was like, <laughs> can I smell like apple pie? Uh... <laughs> like, can I was like I was like okay, so like hear me out. Like what? I was like okay, so like apple spice is like cinnamon and cloves and like can i just smell like apple pie <laughs> Incredible. So <No>. cute. <laughs> can she uh. just smell like apple pie and i don't know why that's i will never forget it i was like i can be a ranger that smells like apple pie <laughs> like i i love that i love that Hell ranger yeah. is like or like aside from bard and pedal knight ranger is like best class just because of that <laughs> you can't argue that you. Yeah, I can you smell can. like apple. Person, I can smell like apple pie. Yeah, I can. I, I can smell like pumpkin pie. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't argue. It's I can be a pumpkin spice latte. Flawless <laughs> argument. There's nothing yeah. to be like. I can't. <laughs> someone's like, There's nothing to refute. Apple pie. Some, someone's gonna be in the pie. audience and be like, "Wait, you can?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're welcome for that knowledge. Sudden audience. surge yeah. of ranger You're players welcome. now. Play ranger. <laughs> Cowards. Specifically love the subclass. <laughs> so oh. Is there a specific uh, pedal knight that you're interested in playing, or is it just like pedal knights in general? Well, um, the specific pedal knight that I'm going to be playing uh, very soon is the pedal knight that I've been wanting to play. It's uh, a Camellia pedal knight. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. I, uh... There, there was a very brief stint where when uh, we were building this uh, character that um, Logan had entertained creating a new Petal Knight. To which I was like, no, 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 we can... I like this one, though. This one is nice, though. Yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, no, I've, I'm interested. I was interested in the Camellia Petal Knight. I was low-key kind of interested in Rose. Um, but like, as I was building the character, it was like... I, I I think Camellia definitely fits them. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I don't know. I, I just looked at Petal Knights and I was just like, I love Revolutionary Girl Utena. <laughs> so oh, yeah, I, wanna... <laughs> I love Utena. Let's go. Let's do this. I love that so much. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I've seen their art. I love them. Yes. You'll, I, I you'll find out them. in a while, audience. Or <laughs> 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 well, thank you for being on my show, you guys. I'm sorry it's a shorter episode today. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to answer the question out of protest now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, it's mostly an anime question. But yeah, no, for you, especially <laughs> I'm, being a, I'm being a giant butthole. <laughs> I'm being a butthole. Again, uh, what about you, Spencer? If, is there like a... Because you, you've been playing for a minute. I have. I've gotten a chance to play a lot of the classes. So one one I haven't that I really want to play at some point. I want to play a fucking. I want to play a cleric. I want to play a healer at some point. Oh like, hell 
I've been I've been Dammy Mitch, da Dammy McDamage Boy for such such a long time. I want to try my hand at like, all right, buffs, heals, buffs, heals. All right, I'm the support man, <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> that's what I want to do so bad. And that sounds that sounds like a good time. Hell yeah. I love mm -hmm. doing that. I, I found I like doing that with, um, I've been playing in Scripter in the game I'm in with Jonah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a lot of buffs. And I'm like, Hell you know, yeah. I think I might, like for the same reason, it's like I play a lot of martial classes or a lot of like heavy like damage dealers. And I'm like, I think I want to, I think I'm ready to play healer again. Mm -hmm. I think I'm, I think I want to like do a long term like cleric class. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I need. I need to look over the inscriptor because that might also be a thing I want to do if they're if they're like super buff heavy. Mm -hmm. That sounds fun. It's a good time. There's like certain spells that they have. Um, I like writ heroism. Um, that one's really fun. I can't remember oh. it off the top of my head. I think that's the one where like you can add like a D four if they like fail a save. Oh, if they fail to save. It's like, specifically, uh, if you see them fail, I can't remember if that's he writ heroism, but it's a spell where it's, if you I see them fail, I don't think it's fail, heroism, but yeah. It's not, but if you see them fail a save, you can, like, add a d4 to it for them or something along those lines. I could be butchering cool. this. Logan, I'm sorry, but it's along those lines. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, there, there's a lot of cool spells and inscriptors. Mm -hmm. Fun. This is my first, like, proper time playing, like, a packed caster, so I'm like, this is kind of neat. It was a good time. Hell yeah. But yeah. Let's go. Hell yeah. I, I'm i very curious what kind of character you would play if you were playing a like a cleric. You know, like what kind of person they would be, because that's where my brain goes. It's a tax man. It's, it's like, alright, you want to heal? Man. You want to heal? You want to pay? You want to pay? He's <laughs> the capitalist cleric. Like... <laughs> That'd be so mean. Mm -hmm. I'll be some, just the MMO healer. Like... Yeah. <laughs> You, no free, no heals come for free, bitch. <laughs> so good. It'd be so funny though. <laughs> I love that so funny. Uh, nah, I've put zero thought into any character idea, what uh, of this potential cleric. But I usually come up with a character after I figure out like what do I, what do I want to play first. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I get that. Mm-hmm. I'm but. usually kind of along those lines, or sometimes I'll have a character concept. I'm like, all right, what kind of class would work for that? Yeah. So. I've had it, I've had times where it's like well, I'll make a joke with the DM where it's like, oh, what if I play freaking this? And then they're like, yo, but like actually do okay, that. But do it though. Mm -hmm. I'll I... be like, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, I've I've had a character idea rattling around in my noggin, and it's like one of the first times I haven't come up with a, like I haven't thought of the class that I want to play, and then came up with the character. I came up with the character first, and. I need to figure out what class would fit them the best. Interesting. Yeah. And I, I think th I've run the character like concept idea uh, at Logan and he seemed to be he enjoy it. So I might play them after I play Vogan. Like, mm -hmm. So, Ew. yeah, that that is ages away, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't yeah. have to think about them for a while. I think I threw it off as like a like a quick like a throwaway joke comment when the inscriptor came out where i was like man logan if i somehow find my way into the fake game i'm just gonna my master is gonna just be an ao3 writer inscriptor <laughs> oh no <laughs> they start uh, writing fanfic about like their companions <laughs> it's just gonna it's just gonna be it's just gonna be the fate to black a bridge <laughs> oh god <laughs> that happened a bajillion years ago i think i actually gave logan like war flashbacks when i made that joke <laughs> your your character just becomes the creator of fate go like <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like oh what if we had like five more arthurs no no, no 15 more <laughs> arthurs and, and they're, they're all different people <laughs> They've all got the same face, but they're very they're different people. They're all different people. And they're all voiced by different people, too. Uh, do you want to you wanna give me a heart attack? What, you what if Nobunaga was a girl? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Vigo. What if Nobunaga was- What if Nobunaga was a girl? Let's take all their- all their prominent conquests throughout Japanese history and turn them into gag events. 
That Fuck. sounds like a great idea. I don't know what you're talking about. That's Fuck. <laughs> You're welcome. That would you kill him. Welcome. That would kill Logan, I think. That would be the end of Net 19. That... <laughs> good, thing, good thing that didn't happen, and this is all just in a fantasy that we're, we're we're coming up with right now. That's not a thing that actually happened in Fate Go, please. <laughs> I'm picturing. I... No, go ahead. Go ahead. Eric. No, no. I was like, I think that is what the. I used to play Fate Go for a bit before I got Merlin and then never touched the game again. Um, I think that is a thing with uh, the Gouda Gouda uh, events with Nobunaga. They're all gag events. Oh, and they feature we... prominent figures. Yeah. <laughs> Reality is a parody, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. The idea I had was just like it's a vestige character for you and they've just started hearing like stories about the highest standard like tangentially just like from people <laughs> and they just start writing like fanfic about the highest standard. Uh, Pete, it's so funny. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck did you write about me? Yeah. They write they write in their own OC that is yeah. part of the highest standard yeah. and is the best. It just becomes the Arthurian like tales yeah. and this person is the fucker that makes Lancelot. Yeah. <laughs> all of the, all of our feats as the highest standard are transferred onto this Lancelot. Like yep. <laughs> the only reason we ever succeeded is because of this fucking Lancelot ass being. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, but I love that though. That's so, okay, that'd be really dude. funny. That that would be such a perfect like April Fool's game. Oh my god. Oh, that'd be so good. So good. Okay, but dude. That it, sounds like though. a good like a fun start to a campaign. Mm -hmm. Like he's like you guys are already established adventurers, and your friend Squibble. <laughs> Squibble. Squibble isn't Squibble, Squibble amazing? Party. Squibble is so cool and sexy and hot and just good yeah. at everything better than us. Yeah, there's, <laughs> they're just some eldritch being who's inserted them into the fucking into their lives through magic manipulation. I love that. So <laughs> that'd be much. that'd be fucked. It's really funny though. Oh, that'd be good. Good old oh. Squibble. Squibble's who I want to be when I grow up. There's mm -hmm. no one like Squibble. There ain't nobody like Squibble. Like, I should, I should, damn. you know, cancel this show. Because I can't be like yeah. Squibble. Yeah. yeah. Would Squibble do this show? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Squibble could do it better. I need to find Squibble so they can host the show. That's, yeah. that's that'll be difficult. Yeah. It, it will be very hard. Squibble's really busy. Yeah, they're super yeah, elusive. True. Squibble's <laughs> busy trailblazing and doing things we wish we could be doing right now. Uh huh. Fuck, I hate Squibble. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, he hates Squibble. <laughs> I'm so jealous Fuck you. of Squibble. <laughs> oh, so, God. I know none of us can be like Squibble, and that's who we all want to go find on the internet, but that is all the time we have for the day. <laughs> so, why don't you guys promote yourselves and let the fine teenies at home or in a incredible bush. Incredible transition, as always. I know, I'm incredible. Beautiful. I'm so good at this. <laughs> um, why don't you guys go ahead and tell the teenies where they can find you. Let's start with... I know you got stuff going on in the honks stuff, so tell people where they can, where they can find you, my sweetness. I can be found... Anywhere under the name Squeaky Chiona, that is Squeaky C H I O N A. I currently am doing an endurance test to see if I can stream every day for 20 days, and it's been all right. But uh, I literally woke up and was like, Man, taking a nap later will be fuck, I can't. <laughs> so, oh, <no>. so, <laughs> so, um, but it's been a lot of fun, definitely learning how to get better at a game by bashing my face into it. It's been great. Um, other than that, I've just been kind of doing my own thing, hanging out with the crew in the schoolyard. Uh, <laughs> hanging out with the crew in the schoolyard. <laughs> um, I've, I've got, I've got a couple things 
uh, cooking up that I'm kind of I I, I want to kind of keep it on the DL because I'm kind of like oh man because <laughs> I don't I I I, I it's it, I'm I'm still kind of like it's like I'm, I've been put in a kitchen and it's like you're cooking and I'm like what am I cooking <laughs> what am I cooking <laughs> so I'm sorry <laughs> oh god so I've I've got I've got a couple things cooking in the background that probably won't come out till like next year sometime but like. It's happening. It's really exciting. It's so cool. <laughs> so, yeah. So if you're being like, oh man, freaking, I can't find squibbles, so I'll check out that chick. That is squeaky. C H I O N A. <laughs> I can't find squibbles, so I guess I'll settle for anybody. Settle else. for less. Fuck squibble. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Mr. Buddy VA. Um, you can also find me on the Something Witty Entertainment, uh, Something Witty Gaming Twitch channel, or even on their on their YouTube channel, the Something Witty Enter Entertainment, as we uh, stream Sweet and D, a Dungeons and Dragons uh, live stream, uh, actual play where we're playing a little, we're playing a sci-fi game, and that's pretty fun. We've been doing that for uh, a little bit. We stream every other Friday. And you can also find the podcast on, on Spotify and other places. Uh, we release episodes every week. I put a lot of work into editing them. So uh, a rating and other thing and listening to them would be much appreciated. I work too hard for them to go unnoticed. Do it. Uh, <laughs> Give him your love and support. That'd be nice. That'd be appreciated. Thank you. Uh, but... Oh, or you can you can find me here. Uh, I I stream I stream with Aaron and Carrie on uh on the on this Twitch channel. Um, we do we 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 do the cutie cult stuff where we play the games and stuff, and that's a good time. It's a very good time. I was so sad mm -hmm. that I missed y'all's stream yesterday. I was eating. Steak, it was. But I really that was fucking Scuff too. City, man. That was really? bad. Oh yeah. That was... <laughs> I'm gonna go watch the vod. Okay. Like there are two. I, there oh. are two vods because the first like five minutes were so it was bad. Oh no! Chaotic. I'm gonna oh, yeah. watch all of it. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. All right. Support the homies here. Mm -hmm. yeah. True. True. I suppose if you want to find me on the internet, which I'm all over the internet saying silly things. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at HeyBellVoice, on Instagram at HeyBellVoice. Instagram is just me posting silly shit to my Instagram story, so uh, join me there. Um, but mostly, you can find me over on Net19. You can find me over here. I'm running the merchandise and things like that, so if you've had an order packed by us, hi, that was me, um, I guess. But uh, if you want more Net19, because why wouldn't you? Remember that you can tune in Monday through Wednesday for gaming streams with the cast. Thursdays, we have alternating D&D games with Princes of the Apocalypse and Laidback Laidlaw. And currently, Devil's Might Surrender is on Saturdays. So if you're interested in our merchandise or you just want to know more about our team, you can visit our website at nat19show.com. That is nat19show.com. So go visit us there. Give all your love and support and kindness to the cast because everyone on this team is wonderful and I'm very grateful to be part of it and be surrounded by such wonderful, talented people. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Wah. Wah. All We're right, happy we to be will around you, you as well. Wah. Goodness. Even when I say things like Spubby, e <coughs> and Poggers you still want to be around me. <laughs> I sometimes want to be around. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. And then you remind me how much I don't. And then I remind <laughs> you that I'm a fucking goblin. Yep. <laughs> oh, I love y'all very much. And we love you mm. too, teenies. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. So long. Bye. Bye.